a much strengthened Real Madrid side with pretty much all of the star names on view. Talking world-class footballers, I think it's fair to say that he comes into that category. One of the world's best prolific goal scorer, still such an important player for Real Madrid. 61 goals for Ronaldo in 54 appearances last season. The International Champions Cup in its third year continues to attract the big clubs and, of course, the star names of world football. Well, Real Madrid certainly didn't start this competition particularly well. Weren't very impressive, it has to be said, in the goalless draw against Roma. The only way that Cristiano Ronaldo and Real Madrid can pick up the trophy on offer is to win this match in 90 minutes. Any other scenario, and Manchester City will come out on top. Former Real Madrid manager himself. There's Ronaldo, raw from the MCG as he picks out Pepe, now with Carvajal. It's been reported about his uh, training methods. How much we read into that, I'm not sure at this stage. Every season, if he doesn't get 60 goals again this season, he will be deemed to have failed. He's good. Ronaldo. Modric. Well, they've wisely given 16-year-old Humphreys nigh on 17 minutes here just to have a look at the, the flow of the game and the movement of the Real Madrid attacking players. He hasn't been uh, on the ball much to speak of at all so far, Humphreys, but his test will come. Manchester City actually picked him up after he originally uh, had some early years in the Oldham Academy, Cameron Humphreys. And not enough to keep his job. And as we indeed now operating down the left of that Manchester City midfield, here's Ronaldo. Carvajal. Cross with an excellent pass, flag stays down, and Hart can't keep it out. Ronaldo makes it 2-0. And we don't need any goal line technology to say that was legitimate. It looked well over the line. And it all came from a terrific pass from Tony Cross. Again, it's a, another well worked goal from Real Madrid. This is better from them. Benzema takes up the position wide on the left. It allows Ronaldo to drift inside and play as a centre forward. Makes it better of, in terms of movement off a of collar off. Great pass. He's clearly onside. Good first touch, just prods it goalwards. Admirable attempt from Joe Hart to make the save. Initially, the first one there. He tries to be sharp, tries to get back and clear it, but clearly over the line from Real Madrid's second. Certainly pleasing the home supporters who saw a 0 draw against Roma and now two goals from Real Madrid. And I think the one player they wanted to see on the score sheet today was Ronaldo. And then we, we look at everybody else and judge them. If they get over 20, it's a great season. But for those two... Only way Real Madrid can lift the trophy on offer here at the Melbourne Cricket Ground in Australia is to win this game in 90 minutes and they're going very much the right way about it. Nice touch from Ronaldo, here's Bale. Key moments we've seen him in this first half. Had a good game against Roma. Scored, of course. Silva under pressure immediately from Kroos. Isco. Room here for Bale. Shaped in towards Benzema. Vital touch from Denier. This is Ronaldo. And settles for the throw.
fluidity. Terry touched on it a moment or two ago about this Real Madrid attacking four. With Isco, Bale, Ronaldo and Benzema. They're all clever enough, aren't they, to rotate, as you said, be fluid. Benzema for Bale. Chance to stretch his legs. And few will keep pace with Gareth Bale. With only Ronaldo in the middle. Support in behind for Ronaldo. It's Ramos. And one will expect to see on many occasions from Cristiano Ronaldo in the 15 16 season. This game probably beyond them already. Ronaldo. Teases Senya. Again, it's good defending from Senya. Ronaldo delights in the crowd with a series of step overs. On this occasion, no end product due to the determination of Senya. Pepe headed Real Madrid into a 3 0 lead. Welcome back to the Melbourne Cricket Ground, where Real Madrid lead Manchester City by three goals to one in the International Champions Cup competition. His, his behaviour has been interesting over the last few, to, few days in training. There's been no issues today, he looks happy, we can see him there. Well, this being a friendly tournament, we can expect a whole raft of substitutions away from the Bernabeu to Porto, where he was a teammate of this man, Danilo. Benzema making way for Hesse, player I know that you like, Terry. Jovetic, who's been linked with strongly linked with a lone move to Inter Milan. I think that will go through in the next uh, 24 to 48 hours with a view to a permanent move for Jovetic to Inter. Cruz, Isco, Danilo, Ronaldo caught one there from Kolarov. Ronaldo. Here's Cruz. Ronaldo. I'll take charge, he says, to Isco. Doesn't trouble the Manchester City girl, having bought himself the space. He makes up his mind very early here that there's only going to be one outcome, an attempt on goal. The kid's on there. There's his Fernando. You can work it off both sides, right foot, left foot, doesn't matter to Ronaldo, gets the power. Smart enough to get quickly out of the way of Ronaldo. Isco. Ronaldo offside. Immediate flag for the assistant on this near side. It was questioned, wasn't it, by Ronaldo? Onside. It's right, close though. A fingernail on his right index finger, I think, is offside there. But that doesn't count. Hesse, Marcelo. It's great stuff from Real Madrid. Isco, Ronaldo, Danilo. And then we see eventually the back heel from Ronaldo, Danilo with a cross, and a good block by Kolarov. Again, Real Madrid win the duels in the middle, but Ronaldo finding it difficult to control that header. And he very nearly opened up a route to a second Manchester City goal. A good ball from Bale, upside this time, Ronaldo! It's run away by Kolarov, and he's grateful for that. Ronaldo would expect to score in that position, of course. He's playing well on that left wing role, isn't he? He's barely been there. He's always in goal-scoring positions, whether it's cutting him from the flank or making those runs in behind defenders. 
And he sets up Isco there. Ready to come on. We're also going to see Nacho and Denis Cheryshev, the Russian international. Here's Ronaldo. Wants a free kick. Looks right over his shoulder and the referee duly obliges. About 40 metres out, but Ronaldo will fancy a cracker goal here, I'm sure. It's Cameron Humphreys with the, the challenge on Ronaldo. Sticks a leg out, catches Ronaldo on the upper part of the thigh. Ish. As Ronaldo gets ready to try and test Joe Hart, who's a starter against Roma. And here comes Ronaldo. I think I'm right in saying he only scored once. That's uh, Ronaldo's last action. As Terry was mentioning, looks happy. Both coaches can make up to 11 substitutions in this competition as Ramos and Ronaldo and Marcelo make for the dressing room. Manchester City have also brought on the winger, Marcus Lopez. Crowd, 90 odd thousand of them come in today, hoping to see a little bit of magic from Ronaldo. Maybe see him score a goal. Be obliged. A really bright performance from Cristiano Ronaldo again. The rest of the Real Madrid players much improved from the, the first game against Roma. Have they done the last of their business this summer, Terry? Do you feel? I wouldn't have thought so. Will Cristiano be hanging around? Real Madrid will certainly hope to have this man in situ for their forthcoming La Liga season, which begins on August the 23rd with a trip to the roof of Spain. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time to present Real Madrid with the 2015 International Championship Cup trophy presented by Audi. It's with great pleasure that we welcome to the stage some people have made this tournament possible. Andrew Doyle, Managing Director of Audi Australia, and the Honourable John Errant, Minister for Sport, Minister for Tourism and Major Events, and Minister for Veterans Affairs to the stage. And I'd now like to welcome also Cristiano Ronaldo to accept the trophy on behalf of Real Madrid. Well, normally we would have had Ike Casillas and Sergio Ramos. But on this occasion, there's no Ike Casillas anymore. It's Alvaro Albaloa, senior pro at Real Madrid. And of course, Cristiano Ronaldo, who accept the trophy. Handsome one it is too. And it is in possession of Real Madrid and their star-studded squad. The healthier squad, Terry, that's come to this particular tournament in 2015. And... Uh, Deserve winners certainly here against Manchester City. Certainly against Manchester City, a much improved performance from the performance from Rafa Benitez's side. Showed against Roma, goals, much stronger lineup at the start of the game. 